it says that while Simon is thinking in his heart, hmm, if he was the prophet, I, I, I got him now because uh, uh, prophets and rabbis uh, were not to be approached or touched by people like her. I finally found a way to disprove who he is while he's yet thinking the text says Jesus turns to Simon and says Simon I have something to ask you uh, two people owed a money lender money one owed him 500 denarii the other owed him 50 denarii nobody had enough to pay him back and so because he felt gracious, because uh, he felt uh, like he was just wanting to bless somebody, because he felt good that day, uh, he forgave the debts of both of them. Hmm. And he says, now Simon, which one of them would uh, love him more? Which one would be more indebted and ingratiated to the one that they owe? the debt too and Simon says the one uh, who uh, who owed the most and Jesus said well if you want to play that game you've rightly judged uh, but understand that I'm not just talking about a creditor uh, and those who are debtors he says Simon watch this you are a Pharisee you are a teacher of the law you know the messianic promise you you, you know you and Nicodemus and uh, and Joseph of Arimathea have been having these conversations and y'all know that I really am the Messiah you don't agree with it <laughs> but you know who I am uh, one of your own said uh, we have never seen anyone who speaks like this uh, Nicodemus told me you weren't there but Nicodemus told me we know we all know uh, we know that you are prophet sent from God uh, for no one can prophet sent from God I am the God that sends the prophets uh, Nicodemus knew it and Simon you know it too well, let me help you to understand. He says that knowledge is a burden. If you know who I am, then you should have treated me as I should have been treated. But instead of using this environment to teach and uplift, instead of using your time and your platform to encourage people and to reveal who God is, you are sitting in a place of judgment. You did not even follow the customs and the cultures that you advocate for. Because remember now, the Pharisees were the procurers of the law. The Pharisees made sure that the people did everything according to the book. But Simon, I came in and you did not even follow cultural protocol. And the culture is to provide guests with water to wash the dust off of their feet and the dust off of their hands. But you just invited me to the table and I played your game. I didn't even ask you for water. I said, if you want me to sit down and eat with dirty hands, I will. Because it is not what goes into a man that defiles him. But that which comes out. If you want to play that game, I'll eat. But just know, Simon, you didn't bring me any water not only did you not bring me any water but notice now uh, that it is the custom uh, that you should bring oil uh, to put on the dry spots of one's face uh, and oil to oil the feet a fragrant oil and you not only didn't bring me water but you didn't even bring me any oil you didn't bring me anything to refresh myself nothing to spritz myself with you just let me sit down at the table dirty and go to eating oh god and guess what the custom said that you should have also kissed me with a holy kiss when I came through the door you didn't kiss me but this woman that you are criticizing she did your job since I came in the room y'all gotta hear this she's been weeping at my feet and she has not ceased 
to weep uh, and wash my feet. Y'all missed this. Uh, while Jesus is sitting, uh, while Jesus is talking to Simon, uh, she's still worshiping.